So people always want to know what I do to stay in shape, and the truth is I really only do yoga. Since opening the studio about a year ago, I have incorporated some strength training moves, but it's still intertwined throughout my yoga practice. So today I put together a short workout that you can do, which incorporates some of my favorite moves. It's short, you can do it anywhere, you can do it at home, and there's nothing needed except enough space for a yoga mat and your body weight. All right, let's have some fun. So toes and heels are together at the top of your mat. Go ahead and release your shoulders down and back. Hands, palms are facing away from your body, open to receive, open to share energy. Root your feet down, really connecting with the earth below you. Toes and heels are together, your kneecaps are lifted, upper thigh bones are lifted, tailbone is gently tucked, core is lifted and engaged, shoulders are relaxed away from your ears. Your crown is lengthening up towards the sky, your neck is lengthened. We're gonna inhale, the arms up towards the sky. Really think of your arms as extensions of your spine. This is upward salute, we're reaching the fingertips, up towards the sky as we root the feet down we lengthen the arms up moving the upper arm bones up feel your waistline getting smaller lengthen up inhale reaching for the sun exhale we float down fingertips gently raising your mat relaxing your head and your neck jointly holding forward this is forward fold root to nasana hands to your shins lengthen your spine ardha uttanasana Exhaling, folding down. Right foot steps back into your low lunge position. There's energy shooting out of your right heel. Your shoulders are rolled back when you're offering your heart forward. Fingertips are gently grazing the earth. Your left knee, your left ankle are nice and aligned and your belly is pulled in nice and tight. From here, stepping your left foot back, you're in your plank position, pressing the floor away from you with your fingertips. Again, pressing the back side of your legs up towards the sky. Energy shooting out of your heels. We're gonna do a chaturanga push-up. You bend your elbows, 90 degrees, sweep through. Upward facing dog. Thighs are lifted, kneecaps are lifted, relaxing your shoulders away from your ears. Gently shifting your gaze as long as it doesn't create a crunch in your neck. From here, flipping your toes. Downward facing dog, finding your comfortable downward dog. Spreading your fingertips nice and wide, your little fingers are reaching towards the front of the room. Your heels are pressing back. There's energy shooting out of your heels. You're activating the inner and the outer corners of your heels. You're inhaling, lengthening your spine. You're exhaling. Releasing your hamstrings. From here, looking forward, pulling your belly button in towards your spine. You're gonna bend your knees and bounce forward to meet your hands. You can always walk forward if hopping forward is not here for you today. Hands to your shins, lengthen your spine. Exhaling, folding down. Inhale, we rising up. Reach your arms up, upward salute, shifting your gaze, look up, lift up, inhaling. Exhaling, we float down, let everything go. Hands to your shins, lengthen. Exhaling, folding down, left foot steps back. Low lunge position. Again, making sure that right knee, right ankle are alive. You're hugging your right knee in towards your center line. Your left leg is active and engaged, and there's energy shooting out of that left heel. You're looking forward, your shoulders are rolled back, your heart is offered forward. From here, stepping your right foot back. Energy shooting out of your heels, really actively pressing the floor away from you with your fingertips. Belly is pulled in nice and tight. Here we go, Chaturanga Pusha, bending those elbows, sweeping through. Upward facing dog, flipping your toes. Downward facing dog, breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, belly pulls up tighter, hips moving up higher. Breathing out. There's six inches gap between your feet. You're inhaling. Exhaling. Beautiful. Bending your knees, looking forward. Bounce or walk forward to meet your hands. Forward fold. Hands to your shins. Lengthen. Exhaling. Folding down. Inhale. Rising up. Reaching up. Upward salute. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale. We float down. 
hands to your shins, lengthen. Exhale, folding down. You're gonna jump or step back into your plank position, pulling your belly button in towards your spine. We're gonna do some mountain climbers to get your heart rate to rise. So, start your mountain climbers. Make sure you're breathing. Keep your belly pulled in and really be light on your feet here. We don't want to hear a big heavy something. Few more seconds. For 10, five, three, two, one. Beautiful, back to your high plank. You can press up into a downward facing dog. Let it go. Pull your belly button in towards your spine, look forward. Bounce or walk your feet forward to meet your hands. Hands to your shins, lengthen. Exhale, folding down. From here, we're gonna step the right foot back to the right corner of your mat. You're gonna move your left foot out so that your left foot is aligned with the left edge of your mat. Make sure that your foot is nice and straight. Take your left hand to the inside of your left foot. Right hand lines up with the right edge of your mat and we're gonna do some Spider-Man push-ups. Here we go. Bend those elbows. Keep the chest lifted. You can let the foot roll out to the side a little bit. You want a little bit of a hip opener in there as well. Nice and strong. Starting to get that heart rate up. And four, three, two, one. Hold. From here, you're going to step your right foot forward to meet those top of your mat, so it's parallel to your left foot. Go ahead and turn your toes out, drop your bottom down, take your elbows, hook them to the insides of your knees, and take a nice little Malasana squat pose here, opening up your hips. Take a nice deep inhale, keeping your heart lifted, exhaling, dropping your bum down. I like to sway a little bit. Helps me to open up, get a little warm. One more breath. And from here, we're gonna plant the hands back down. Lengthen up the legs again. You can do a little Ardha Uttanasana here, so hands to the shins lengthen. Exhaling, folding down, letting go. You're gonna step your left foot back. Nice and wide, we're in that wide runner's lunge. This time your right foot is lined up with the edge of your mat on the right side. Take your right hand to the inside of your foot. Here we go. Down. So as you can see, in a short period, we've already got that heart rate up. And four, three, two, one. Beautiful. From here, you're going to step your left foot forward. Walk your feet back together. Take two fists, measure in between your feet. You have six inches between your feet. Make sure your feet are nice and parallel. You're going to reach your fingertips up as you sit your bum back. So really spreading your sit bones towards the back of the room, shining your heart. Belly is pulled in nice and tight. Bringing your hands palms to your heart center. Forward fold, let it go. Hands to your shins, lengthen. Exhale and folding down. This time we're gonna rise back up again. Fingertips reaching up towards the sky. Sit your bum back, weight is in your heels. Spread those sit bones back behind you. Sit your bum back, see that you can see your toes as you look down. Make sure that your knees are tracking back. Lift your heart another inch. Palms to your heart, forward fold. Hands to your shins, lengthen. Exhaling, folding down. Bring your hands to your hips. We're gonna rise up. Reach your fingertips forward towards the mirror. Sitting your bum back, and then rising up, squeezing those shoulder blades together behind your back. Reach your fingertips forward. Rise up, squeeze. Shh. 
making sure that you're breathing. We've got to send oxygen to our muscles while we work them out. Keep sitting your bum back nice and deep. And then squeezing as you rise. We're halfway there, guys. How you doing? Hope you're doing good. Almost there. Nice sweat starting to form. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Go ahead and release the arms. Inhale them up, reaching up. Exhale and fold down. Let everything go. Hands to your shins, lengthen. Exhale, folding down. Plant your hands, step back. Downward facing dog, get a nice little stretch here. Hips up towards the sky. Breathing in. Breathing out. From here, bending your knees. Sending your hips back to your heels. Go ahead and reach those fingers and forward. Taking a nice child's pose. Massaging your pineal gland on the floor beneath you. Waking up your third eye. Keep stretching your hips back to your heels as you reach your fingertips forward. Go ahead and have a sip of water here. If you need it. All right, so the next part of our workout is one of my favorite parts. Uh, it's push-ups. So a lot of girls will often come to me and say, oh, I can't do push-ups. We can all do push-ups, trust me. We all started somewhere. I remember when I was learning two push-ups, I could do one. But guess what? A single, what is it? A million mile journey starts with just one single step. You have to start somewhere, right? So, push-ups. They're not so overwhelming. As long as you don't just get frustrated when you don't get the exact result that you want right away. Every day you do a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, but you've gotta be committed like anything that we do in life, right? So, wide arm push-ups. Wide arm push-ups were really hard for me not so long ago, but I really worked on it, do them, and now they're not so hard. So I love them. So we take our hands and I make two L's, and I bring the thumb of the L onto my mat, and the fingertips are off the mat, and I reach my fingertips forward. Now there's always options for push-ups, if you need to bring your knees down, you bring your knees down and bring your chest down. That option is always there for you. All right, so you do what you can and work on building up that strength. Over time, when you're ready, you're gonna be able to extend your legs back behind you. Pull your belly button in towards your spine nice and tight. And here we go, leading with your heart, bringing your chest down. Shh. Making sure that you breathe is so important. Using your breath is what gives you the power that you need. Shh, 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 shh. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. So I like to do set 24 first. I do three sets of 24. That is how I get the results that I need. So keep at it. All right. Next, we'll do another set of wide arm push-ups. Thumbs off the mat, fingertips off, extend your legs back behind you. Find that inner strength, that inner courage, that inner focus. Three, two, one, let's go. Halfway there. One, two, three, four. All right. Yep. It works. Feel that inner heat. Starting to get all wet and sweaty. <sighs> all right, so my next favorite push-up is called a dolphin push-up. I love dolphin push-ups because they are an awesome upper body strengthener. 
So for a lot of people who want to prepare for inversion, this is a perfect push-up to really build that upper body strength that you need to do inversion. So you're gonna interlace your fingers the same way that you would if you were doing a headstand. You're gonna bring your hands down, really pressing your forearms down into the air, coming up into your downward dog. You're gonna lead with your heart, and then use your belly, pull your hips back up. Nice and strong. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Beautiful, go ahead and bring your knees down. Stretch your hips back, reach your fingertips forward. Have another quick sip of water and then we're gonna move into a little cardio blast zone. All right, so you're gonna come up to the top of your mat, and so now we're going to use the mat width. So come to the center of your mat, and you're just gonna start with a little simple stretch and reach. Again, the idea that we're creating length, No smile on your face, not so bad. Four, three, two, one, let's go low. Reach, reach, reach. Keep reaching, four, go three, go two, go one. All right, when you're doing a nice squat pose, tuck your tailbone under and you're gonna start to box it out. This is my favorite. This is my speed bag, punching bag. I've been doing these for years and years and years. Sit down nice and low. Keep the belly pulled in. You can sway a little bit. Get your joints nice and juicy. Do this for one minute. Here you go. We're gonna go to the right and go up. And it's like this. A little bit of bounce in your step. Make sure you don't pop yourself in the face by accident. Almost there. And we're gonna switch to the left. Three, two, one, go left. Go boom, boom, boom. Nice and strong. Eight more seconds. Four, three, two, go low. Back side low to the squat. Four, three, two, side jab. We go boom, 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 boom. Nice and strong. Let's take it high. So we go boom. Boom, low, low, go high. High, low, low. High, high, low, low. You got this. In four, three, two. We're gonna add an uppercut. All right, we'll go uppercut, uppercut. Jab, jab, uppercut, uppercut. Jab, jab, uppercut. Jab, there's a little bit of a pin in the hip. Boom. Stay powerful. Stay strong. Find that inner fire. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, jump it out. Jump it out. All right. Always remember, if a little jump rope action isn't good for you, you can always just do a little hop step, all right? Whatever works for you. This is 
Get my heart rate high. We're almost there for four. Three, two, plank, jabs, go, boom. Boom. Nice and light on your feet, though. Energy shooting out of those fingertips. Go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One down, box it up. 30 seconds. You're almost more than halfway there. Nice and strong, four, keep going. Eight seconds. Five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Inhale. Exhale, go down. Walk oh. your hands over to the right side of your body. Stretch over your right side leg. Beautiful, come back to center. Exhale, walk over to your left side leg. Take a nice stretch here. Beautiful, from here we're gonna pivot. Face forward. Good, I want you to step your left foot back. You're back into your downward facing dog. Hips are up towards the sky. From here, we're gonna bring the knees down. Sit on your bum, extend your leg. Out corner wise, bend your left leg, inhale. Pull your low belly in, twist over your right leg. Grab your foot, tuck your chin in towards your chest. Pull your belly button in towards your spine. And remember, if you can't get your forehead or need to touch, bend your knee, bring your knee to your forehead. Over time, it will come. Carefully rising up, other side. Massage the inside of your thigh with your foot. Twist to the left, round down. Pick up this foot. Forehead to the knee. Try to keep your right knee down, your right hip down. Try to square your shoulders. Change. Rising up. You're gonna extend both legs out in front of you. Reach your fingertips up. Exhale, folding forward. Go ahead and grab your big toes with your yogi toe grip. Pull in your belly button in towards your spine. Inhaling. Exhaling, pull forward. Lengthening forward. Keep rolling your shoulders back, flex those toes back towards your face. One day getting the heels to lift up off the floor in the air, inhaling. Exhaling, lengthening the spine, pull. Reaching your forehead down towards your toes. Pull, pull. And release. Coming to sit in a Sukhasana happy seat. Bringing your hands, palms onto your knees. Go ahead and close your eyes, connect with your breath, inhaling, exhaling. Let's take three cleansing breaths, inhale, the arms out and up, hands, palms touch of prayer, bring them down through your center line, sealing your practice, inhaling, and exhaling it out. Once more, inhaling. All the wonderful things in life, joy, laughter, gratitude, exhaling, all that does not serve you. Bowing your chin towards your chest, honor the divine self that resides within you, your fierce warrior spirit. Have a beautiful day. Don't let anyone steal your peace. Namaste. I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick workout. I hope to offer you more. Make sure that you like this and you subscribe to my videos. And I hope to see you guys on the mat again real soon. Namaste.